se preparó, se puso linda, su amiga llamaba, salió de rumba, nada le importó, porque su novio ella le engañó. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh my gosh, it has been a hot minute since I have filmed a video. And I'm in a new location because I am currently in our guest room because a lot of stuff has been going on and trying to organize my room with all these like little miniature businesses and stuff that I have to find space to put all of the film and lighting equipment and everything is literally insane. So, um, so yeah, so I'm filming in here because this is like an open space and I figured it would just be so much easier just to film in here. The reason I haven't been gone is because here in Texas we are able to work and I have been working like crazy. I am booked out so far in advance, which I am so, so blessed for that to be the case. So with that being the case, I have been working crazy long hours. I hired a new assistant. Like there's so many things that I don't even know where to start and update you guys. I have a new assistant. I have been obviously working. I'm in my suite, which I think I kind of like got into right before quarantine and everything. Um, and I did a couple of videos talking about how I'm like in a new location and everything. What else? Oh, I started a lash line, which I'm so, so excited about. That is going to be my next video. It's going to be talking about the lash line and covering that. But I figured my first video back would not be right if I did not do a another client horror story story time so that is the name of the series not every single single video is going to be like legit a crazy client only some of them and a disclaimer these are for educational and entertainment purposes only they are not meant to be mean and there is like no malicious intent with these types of videos i think they're just fun to share because people are literally like I like for people to know what us hairstylists have to go through from time to time. I mean, this isn't like, you know, a weekly thing. This just happens every once in a blue moon. And honestly, I'm so blessed to say that this literally only happens a few times. Um, I've had strange encounters, but I've never had something as crazy as what happened to me in this instance, which I'm actually like, so I'm still kind of like shook over the fact that this like, literally happens and people actually have this mentality but let's just get right into it this um all started back in before quarantine so i want to say this all started in march this girl she was a young girl she had been following me for a while she had messaged me asking if i could do an updo to her hair and also do her makeup for prom and so i was like yeah i'd be so down this is how much i charged so i believe I was only going to charge her $100 for both, which in my opinion, it is very cheap. Most people will charge you like $85 plus just for the makeup by itself. And yeah, so I mean, this could easily have been like a $200 service, but I was only charging $100. Um, mostly because at that time I wasn't crazy booked like I am now so I wasn't really running specials but it wasn't something that I was like I'm gonna charge an arm and a leg for you know what I mean so and I had barely at that time I remember I was barely starting to try to post makeup I was trying to do my makeup more um, I'm very natural now I actually don't do my makeup all that often so yeah like the most I do is just wear lashes so I was kind of trying to get back into like being a makeup artist that's originally what I went to beauty school for and so I had been posting that I had been doing kind of like model clients I wasn't actually like charging crazy fees so I told her that that was fine and I told her that I needed a $50 non-refundable deposit which is totally normal if you guys follow me on Instagram you guys know that I require a $50 non-refundable deposit for literally every single service so not only makeup but anything that is a hair color service so balayage Brazilian blowouts whatever and it, non-refundable is literally everywhere so i have it on my instagram bio i have it on every single picture that i post it is always in the caption it is always when i message people i always let them know again because let's face it people don't be reading like stuff and i let them know again like this is non-refundable once you send it like that's it you're booking your service so only time that i would ever make it refundable if it was my on me if i had something to do and i wasn't able to 
do the appointment, then I would offer a refund. But if it's on you guys, then no. She said that that was perfectly fine, whatever. So she sends me the $50 deposit through, I think she sent it through Zelle and I accepted it and I booked her appointment. And so she actually lets me know a couple of hours later in the day and I don't know some people might be biased for this but I was like well you know if I do it for her I'd have to do it for everybody else it just wouldn't be fair if I refunded her not everybody else when it was her bad like miscommunication on her part so she messages me a couple of hours later letting me know that her mom had actually booked that service with another makeup artist or something like that I let her know I was like well I'm sorry like it's non-refundable whatever and she was like, oh, like, really? Like, you can't just get it back to me. I just sent it, you know. I hadn't talked to my mom and she, you know, booked it and she didn't tell me until just now when I told her I had booked with you. And I was like, no, I'm sorry, but if you want, I can transfer it to a different service. So instead of that, I could do a deep conditioning treatment, which is only 65. So the day of you only pay $15. Like I can transfer it to something else or even towards a haircut or something, but I don't offer refunds. It's just part of my policy. So she was just like, oh, okay, well, um, let me see about the other artist and if she could give me a refund and I'll just go with you. So she texted me back about an hour later and she told me that that other girl was also non-refundable and she was not going to refund them the deposit. I don't know how much of a deposit she paid at that person. I don't know if mine was more or less or whatever, but yeah, that lady also had told her that she was not going to refund her. So once this happened, um, she was like, okay, it's fine. Like either way, she kind of realized she was going to lose money just because of that miscommunication between her and her mother. And that that was that was pretty much it so she went ahead and went about her way and she was like okay that's perfectly fine like I'll go ahead and just book with you quarantine happens you know and we had to keep like delaying her appointment because of quarantine we got shut down and just like everything going on and so she messaged me and she was like hey like I'm not gonna obviously be going to prom but I am going to be having a graduation we're gonna have like an in-person graduation and it's gonna be outside and everything and she wanted to know if I could just do her makeup, that she did not want her hair done anymore, that she could just curl it at home and she was going to be wearing a cap anyways. So I told her that was fine, we could just do the makeup, whatever. So the day comes and I'm like, okay, so she comes in, she's super nice, whatever. My assistant was there throughout the whole entire process because we had colored clients before and after. And since we had a little break inside, I actually had run to Target to go get her lashes and everything because that was like the only thing that I was missing. So she came in, I asked her all the basic questions, how do you want your makeup? Because I did kind of lurk on her Instagram and I saw that she did really good like neutral makeup on herself. And I know that people, like girls that do makeup on themselves, they're a little picky with the way that they like to do it, which is because I'm picky with the way I like to do my makeup. Not that I even do my makeup that often, but I'm very picky on my eyebrows, I'm very picky on like lashes that I have, um, the way that my bronzer looks, like things like that. Like I'm very picky on those things. So I know people that wear makeup on a daily basis are like that too. So I asked her, you know, like, is there a certain way that you want your eyebrows? Is Do you want like a heavy, like full face or do you want to keep your face more natural? Like, how do you want this? And the whole time my assistant's there and so she can like attest to everything, making sure that I'm asking all the right questions and everything. And the girl pretty much just shows me the picture of what she wants, but you can tell that you were highly edited filtered type pictures like super face tuned because the face was super super smooth you could tell the contrast was up because they just look more shimmery than what a normal picture would look like so I told her that that was fine you know we would try the best I could to create that look but you know it's easier which I'm just gonna put that out there if you find somebody that has the same kind of complexion as you to recreate the makeup because obviously it's not gonna look identical to somebody that is a different skin tone than you because you have to accommodate to your own undertones and everything like that. Um, she was pretty pale so I had to make her foundation, I had to customize it, I had like a whitener liquid that you mix with the foundation to customize it and make sure that it's light enough or dark enough for her. So she pretty much just gave me free range, kind of do whatever. I asked her, are you sure? And she was like, yeah, just whatever you think, you're the professional, whatever. I did her makeup, it took me about an hour to do the whole service. And I showed it to her and she was like, oh, this is really pretty. I really like it. She was looking at it. She was like, yeah, this looks good. 
and I was kind of waiting for that reaction because you know you can always tell by somebody's first reaction if they genuinely like it or if they're just kind of putting on a show just because they don't want to hurt somebody's feelings but she looked like she genuinely liked the makeup I was like okay like if you want me to change anything just let me know whatever and she said that she really liked it because I told her, you know, like a tweak it and whatever. So the lashes that I got were Ardell lashes. These were like synthetic lashes. I could, I remember like she did kind of look at them like a little funny, but she just was like, okay, whatever. And I applied them and that was that. So we went outside in the natural lighting because this was literally like, I think it was like 12 or 1 o'clock in the afternoon. And I took pictures in the natural lighting. I showed them to her. She goes, it looks really good, you know. And my assistant was like, yeah, it looks really good. And she said she really liked it. And as soon as she, as like, as she was leaving, because she already had paid the deposit, so I decided to just, you know, charge her the five fifty dollars which was the deposit. So she didn't even pay anything that day. And I, you know, explained to her, well, it's 45 for the makeup and then five extra dollars because I'm going to go buy the eyelashes. So I'm only charging you 45 to pay anything. Like, she literally just left and that was that. She ended up, um, as she was leaving, she told me, she was like, oh, I'm going to send you some pictures um, from my graduation, whatever. And so I said, okay, cool, thank you, like, awesome. So she left, and that was that. She drove herself, it was fine, whatever. I, you know, because I do follow, I followed her on Instagram, and I looked at her pictures, and I did notice her makeup did look very um, whitewashed, like she had a white shadow with the flash, which was kind of weird because the foundation I used for her was no flash so her makeup shouldn't have looked like that like she kind of looked like a ghost in the pictures and her eyes even looked like different like she looked like she wasn't even wearing any eyeshadow she looked like she just had regular eyelids and just lashes and so and the lashes looked like they were a different style in the pictures but I just kind of was like whatever like I didn't even pay attention to it I was like hmm, strange but whatever she ended up like I realized she had her own lash line and so yeah so this girl was telling me she was 18 years old obviously she was graduating from high school she had her own lash line so i was like oh that's so cool whatever she didn't bring me her lashes you know i could have just put her lashes on but she ended up doing like a little like meme type post where she was comparing the lashes that i bought because i knew they were the ardell synthetic lashes compared to her like faux mink 3d lashes or whatever you want to call them and she was like you versus me and I mean, they weren't my lashes, so I wasn't like that offended, but I still was like, oh, like the shade. I didn't hear anything more from the girl. Um, actually, no, a couple of days after, like the day after her graduation, she, sh she did ask me to send her pictures that I took in the natural lighting. So I sent them to her. She didn't say thank you. She didn't even respond to me. And I was like, okay, cool, like whatever. And I looked at the pictures and they looked really good. Like, tell me why. This is kind of like where the story starts. Tell me why two whole entire weeks pass. It is a Saturday night, it is one o'clock in the morning, and I get a text message. Well, it's not really a text message. I get a DM on Instagram that is requested because I don't follow this girl, so it comes up in a different folder, it's requested. And so I can either like delete it, block her, or accept this message. And I'm gonna read you guys. Well, I'm a paraphrase it because this is um it's in spanish so this is pretty much the message that i get from this girl's mom this is her mother um she i'm gonna paraphrase it i'm gonna translate it pretty much what it says from english to spanish no from spanish to english so it says hi i don't know you but but you did my daughter's makeup for her graduation and you painted her very ugly okay so pretty much she's just saying like the whole message is her repeating over and over that it was really ugly makeup, that her daughter was really stressed that day, that she had to remove it, that I painted her ugly. She never really gave me like a solid what was the problem with the makeup. First she said it was the eyebrows. She said the eyebrows were ugly and then she... First she said it was the eyebrows and then she wanted to say that the girl's makeup was really orange, which I'll get there in a second. And she was like, but she was more complaining about the fact that she was like, well, you didn't want to give my daughter back the deposit. And so she had to go to you. And if you weren't in the mood to do her makeup, then you should not have done her makeup. You shouldn't even be doing makeup. <laughs> what she said in Spanish for my Spanish speaker, she no le quisiste regresar el depósito que te había dado y tú, mind you, <laughs> if you're from Mexico, you know what I'm talking about. Like people be putting K, like they be hyphenating everything. 
o que ir a la pintaras en la graduación, pero creo que no tenías ganas de pintarla, la pintaste bien feo, solo para decirte que mejor no andas pintando. And so yeah, that was pretty much the message. Um, but pretty much, yeah, she was saying that it was ugly. She didn't like the eyebrows and she didn't like the color of the makeup, whatever. But I ended up sending the mother a pictures of her makeup in natural lighting, which they were live photos. You cannot edit live photos because it will not click like if you hold down it'll still show the real one so you can edit a live photo but it's still gonna show you it's not gonna show you the edited one on a live photo if it's still live if that makes sense okay so i was really confused i actually woke up this was like four in the morning that i woke up because my dog had to go to the bathroom so i had to wake up and i could not find this girl um her daughter her 18 year old daughter i could not find her following me i think she had changed her username or something because i could not find her so i assume she had blocked me and i did end up texting her and i screenshot the message that her mom had sent me because it wasn't constructive criticism the way that she had wrote it was just rude and it was mean and it's something that it's like if she had a problem with it she should come to me because she is 18 years old you know what i mean like it's something that she's an adult she booked it herself she drove herself she okayed it she did all this stuff herself so if she had a problem with it that day she should have let me know but why are you gonna let me know two weeks later and why are you gonna text me at one o'clock in the morning like this hateful message because it's not constructive criticism it's just rude because you're not saying hey just letting you know we didn't like you know just being polite about it you don't have to be a, a karen you know so i did text the girl because i was bothered by it and i said good morning i just wanted to let you know i did receive this i am so sorry i was going to message you on instagram but it seems that she must have blocked me the makeup was only 50 dollars, including lashes everywhere in my policy it states that the deposit is non-refundable and as you can tell from my page that makeup is not my main specialty but you chose to book with me requesting it anyways um i did tell her it was very unprofessional to have your mom message me when if there was an issue with the outcome you could have let me know instead of me getting an ugly text from your mom being super rude and i know i probably <laughs> i don't know some people might say that that was me being unprofessional but why are you gonna have your mom text me and like why is it gonna be at one in the morning and she's complaining about like the deposit and everything and if you go to my instagram you guys can see that i specialize in hair i do mostly balayages i hardly ever do makeup like that at the time i was posting models but if somebody like wants you to do makeup and you do offer it it's like going to pizza hut and ordering their wings even though you know pizza hut's known for their pizza you know what i mean like you still book for it but you know it's not going to be like oh beyonce style beauty is in the eye of the beholder kind of thing you know and so yeah so i had texted them on back i sent her pictures and i was like this is how her makeup looked um i'm sorry but the deposit like was non-refundable your daughter knew this it was like everywhere and this is the message that i get back on her mom's account because the girl because the girl read my message that she because it was on imessage so i saw that she read it but she never answered me this is the 18 year old girl so the mom answered this time it was in english but i actually don't think this was her mom i think this was the girl's older sister because she is 18 and she had like a 20 year old older sister this is <laughs> this makes me laugh because she contradicts herself so much in this message okay so when I tell you she sent me a whole novel, like paragraph on paragraph. So it says, first of all, first of all, she doesn't ever speak up to be rude when someone screwed her over. She is a high schooler, so she has a mom for a reason to stand up for her. So sorry if you feel like she should speak out when she's not forced to deal with workers. First of all, she's not a high schooler. That's like the whole point of the makeup was for her graduation. Like she graduated, she is no longer considered a high schooler. Once she has that diploma, she is not a high schooler. And I'm like, I'm not like, she's not gonna deal with a worker but like how is she gonna go about the rest of her life with like what her mom like trying to fix everything for her and yeah okay next it says and you're not blocked honey also don't say she had her mom message you because she did it we all saw the makeup and it was so crap i'm gonna i'm gonna use a different word this word is profanity <laughs> And it says, we were all mad. She had to rush to take it off and redo it for pictures and graduation. Your bad work made the day very stressful for all of us. And we all wanted to leave a bad review, but she wouldn't want to give us your contact info because she's nice. If makeup wasn't your specialty and you can't deliver a good job, you should have, you sh she did a typo. I think she meant shouldn't. 
shouldn't offer the service. I don't care how cheap the makeup is, including lashes. If you can't give a good service, don't offer it. That just doesn't sound right. <laughs> that doesn't sound right just because you never know with people. Some people are starting out so they're cheap. You kind of, It's kind of a you get what you pay for kind of thing, but okay, moving on. And, um, and it's not unprofessional for her to do anything. She is the client and you are the worker. You have to be professional, not the client. Which I don't feel like my message was that unprofessional. I feel like I was just messaging her because I was confused. Why are you going to have your mom message me? You're 18 years old and this is two weeks later. Like I'm, and it's for makeup. It's something that's not permanent and you were able to take off. And so that was the first message. This is the second paragraph that she sends me. I guess she like thought about it and wanted to add on to it. Or maybe she put it in her notes and it wasn't enough to like send all of it. I don't know. It says, it's unprofessional of you to message a high schooler for something she had to part in. Keep that in your mind. She had to part in. You call yourself an entrepreneur but can't take a bad review. Honey, you're a waterpreneur. <laughs> okay. Um, so don't get technical with her because I will have my legal team all over this faster than you can think. First of all, honey. First of all. What's a wannapreneur? Like... Somebody, I have my own business, I have my own mini salon, I, you know, I, I do a lot for myself. Being 21 years old, I feel like I've earned the fact that I can stand up for myself. There's a difference between being a worker and standing up for yourself when, you know, this whole, like, I don't need to be hearing from somebody's mom and their sister and like I don't need the whole family telling me these things. I need the client and legally in the state of Texas, I don't have to share information with anybody. Like I, I just need to talk to the client. So okay, but whatever. And legal team, I was like, honey, it says I can also have my tech team convert the pictures to its real color because the orange tones can be toned down with simple editing. It sounds like this girl probably has done that to herself many times because her makeup's probably orange, but tech team, honey, you got a legal team, a tech team? Surely you guys aren't complaining about a $50 non-refundable deposit, especially because that's all you've had to pay for the makeup. Like, if you can afford that many teams, then I think could have been better off. But again, with that whole orange thing, again, it was a live photo. I can't edit live photos. And I'm, I'll explain why I can't even show the pictures, but okay. It says that because she was orange. So with that being said, stopping unprofessional messaging her for something she took no part in. First, you said at the top of the message, you said she did take part in, and now you're telling me she didn't take part in. She also didn't sign anything to have her pictures she put disturbed, but I think she meant to say distributed, FYI. Um, although I doubt you would share such bad makeup. So that's why I'm not going, plus it's like her whole face. I would reveal her identity, whatever. So I'm not going to show you guys the pictures, but I did send them to my friends to get a double opinion. Like, does she look orange? Like, because to me, she did not look orange. And when she was there, she did not look orange. So it wasn't the camera picking it up differently or whatever. And my assistant was there in person. She said it looked good. Um, but yeah, that's why I'm not going to share her pictures because she was being like a little B, B word about it. So whatever. And then she said, my legal team will have an eye on you. Um, but anyways, yeah. She said, don't attack a high schooler over messages because you don't know who she, who they have by their side. And a tip, to make it as an entrepreneur, I get thicker skin. Right now, you're not one, you're a small business owner. Signed, an actual entrepreneur. I think that's my favorite part. The fact that she is pretty much like being a bully, <laughs> telling me that I'm not an entrepreneur and all this stuff, but she's being rude and being unprofessional, but she's an entrepreneur. Mind you, this girl, she's in college and she like doesn't have a business and everything. And she just said that, I'm a small business owner, but I'm not an entrepreneur, so. And then she sent another message that said, stop taking up her time with your unprofessionalism. Thanks, hun. I'm like, she, th she really thought she was doing something, but she contradicted herself so much in these messages. And I was going to just let it go and let it slide, but I had to respond. Um, it said, I said, ma'am, those pictures were taken in natural daylight. My assistant can testify to say I asked the appropriate questions of how she wanted it and that the pictures were not messed with. I also have a legal team, which I would be more than happy to share their information with you. She told me she is 18 years old, which in the state of Texas is an adult. Also, I do offer makeup, but it is not the main service that I offer. I'm not really sure what she left me on red blocked i got blocked she got blocked 
and they even blocked me on her, this little girl's um, page, her lash business, because even in this girl, like the 18 year old girl's um, bio on her Instagram, she has owner of and then her um, lash line or whatever it's called. And which I think is funny that she is like a business person, like she has her own business and the lash line and all this stuff, but she can't handle business with letting me know you know that she didn't like her makeup or whatever if she was unsatisfied she should have let me know but i'm like i'm not talking to everybody in your family like speak up you're 18 but i mean that's typically how all of my crazy client story times that have to do with younger girls the parents always want to control what they're doing and i'm like texas it's 18 and up so I don't want to talk to anybody um, unless it's that client. But pretty much that was like the end of the story. Um, yeah, so that's crazy to me. That is probably the craziest thing that I have had happened to me so far. I honestly have never had anybody like wait that long to message me, be so weird, like having like a million family members try to contact me and doing all this stuff when it was something that could have been avoided so easily. Like she could have let me know the day of and I could have fixed it because. I can't fix something that I don't know that you don't like, you know what I mean? So that was probably the craziest thing that I've had done, like have ever had. Um, craziest client. But anyways, yeah, I thought that that was an interesting story time. Um, I really don't know how, <laughs> for the educational part, I don't really know how I could have fixed it just because I was so unaware. Like I had no idea that she didn't like it. I was unaware of all this stuff. And instead, I just got a really ugly text message from her mom when I tried to, like, because I was confused. I was like, is this your mom? Like, is this your mom? Because I'm confused that this, you know. But I couldn't find her on my Instagram, so I was like, did you block me? Like, I'm confused. I was so confused, and it was just, it kind of was blown a little bit out of proportion. Like, this girl was really trying to do something, um, trying to say she had, like, a tech team, legal team, like, all this stuff. And I'm like, honey, whatever. Um, but anyways, I thought this would be a fun video to kind of, um, come back to YouTube with. And so, yeah, but again, this isn't, you live and you learn. I'm trying to think of my lesson in this video. I really don't even have a lesson because I really don't know. Um, but yeah, you do live and you learn and you're going to deal with, all, you know, you're going, like in this industry, you're going to have to deal with all different types of people and you are going to get some crazy people. <laughs> you are going to get some people that are, you know, going to be hard to satisfy. You're going to have to deal with fake people and you're going to have to deal with all kinds of people in this industry. So that's my little pro tip um, lesson, I guess, is it's like you are going to have to deal with these types of people, but you are going to be fine and it is going to be okay at the end of the day. Yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this um, really crazy client horror story. I am going to be getting back into YouTube. I kind of want to do makeup tutorials. We'll see just because my schedule is so crazy. So to do makeup is a lot, but we shall see. Next video, I'm probably going to be introducing to you guys my lashes. I'm so excited to to finally share with you guys. I mean, I've been having these lashes for like a month now. Um, so if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, you guys should because I'm the most active on there and you guys can keep up with all my little activities. But I'm so excited to be sharing my lash line and everything. If you guys want more info on it, go to my Instagram so you guys can see all the different types. I have six styles that are available. And yeah, I'm so, so excited for them. Um, but that's probably going to be the next video is me introducing them to you guys and showing you guys and just kind of like doing an overview and talking to you about them. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you guys can know whenever I upload new videos. That being said, I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!